In this video, I'll be showing how to use the payment function formula in Excel. So we'll be looking at two scenarios. One is to calculate the monthly mortgage amount and the other scenario is to calculate the monthly leasing car amount. So in order to open the payment function formula, we press, we have to press equal sign PMT open bracket and this will open up the payment function. So the first argument value is the rate. So we have assumed that the annual interest rate for this mortgage would be 5.5%. So in order to convert that to monthly payment, we would have to divide that by 12. And to move to the next argument value, we have to press comma. And that will move to the next argument value, which is number of periods. So this is a 25 year period mortgage loan. So again, we select B3. And in this case, to convert to monthly payment, we have to multiply that by 12. And then enter comma to move on to the next argument value, which is the mortgage amount. The present value is always negative. So enter minus and then select B4 and then press comma to move on to the next argument value which is future value. In this case we were not making any lump sum future payment for mortgage. So a, a scenario that you can use the future value future value is when you have a residual residual value at the end of the lease term which we can use for the leasing car calculation. So in this case, we would have to skip. So we have to press another comma. That will take us to the last argument value, which is end of the period or beginning of the period. We assume that the mortgage will be paid at the beginning of the period. So we would have to select B5. So I just want to let you know, in case if we do not complete the formula, and if we end the formula, right after the future value. The Excel will calculate based on the assumption that the mortgage payment will be made at the end of the term. So if I press zero, the amount will not change because we did not complete the formula. Therefore, the Excel will assume we will be making the, the mortgage payment at the end of the term. So it's always important to complete the formula to have the correct monthly payment. So this time we select the cell B5, then close the bracket. And you see the amount has changed. Now if we change the cell to zero, the amount will change because we select complete the formula. So now let's move on to leasing car payment. So again, to open the payment function, you have to press equal, type PMT, open bracket. Or another way to open the payment function is to go under the formula ribbon and open the financial icon and scroll down and select payment function. So here for each each criteria it will give the description so it's, it's easier for the user to determine what the rate is for what's the number of period future value present value etc so in this case the rate is four percent again this is an annual interest rate and we are trying to calculate monthly payments so we have to divide that by 12 and the number of period is five years to convert that to monthly payments we have to multiply by 12 and the present value is always negative so we enter negative and select B4 and the next argument value is future value in this case we do have a residual value that is, which is $15,000 so the future value is always positive so we do not need to enter a negative amount so just select B5 
then again it's important to complete the the formula with the type of payment which is is it going to be end of is the payment going to be end of the month or beginning of the term so in this case we'll be making the lease payment at the beginning of the term and after the formula is completed press ok and the amount is calculated to four hundred and sixteen dollars and seventy three cents if the lease payment is made at the beginning of the term if the lease payment is made at the end of the term enter zero in this case it's a little bit more so this concludes the video for calculating monthly payments and thank you for visiting the YouTube channel and stay tuned and as I will be posting more videos